Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And for those of you who are new and just clicked on the thumbnail, welcome to my channel. Thank you for clicking on that thumbnail. I am Casey and this is Casey's Joy where I share um, dolls, sometimes toys, but not really, but it's dolls, crafts, things that bring me joy. And I share it with you and hopefully you'll find joy in the video. So today is a, did we decide what we're calling this? Because technically it's not an unboxing because most of the time I don't take the items out the box. <laughs> um, it's only sometimes that we really take the items out the box. Um, it's more like a unpackaging because I got some packages in here. Two packages, I think. No. Three packages. I got three packages in um, today. Yeah, today. And so I thought, hey, why not just share it with you, open it up and share it with you. So one thing, my fellow Dolly collectors, why you didn't tell me? Why didn't you not tell me that Dolly collecting is so addictive? It's like, especially if you are a not necessarily new stuff that come out Dolly Collector, but if you like the not older stuff, because I don't think I really collect vintage stuff, but I collect older items that may have come out two, three years ago. Those are new to me since I am recently new to getting back into collecting and um, things like that. So I find the stuff and discounts and thrifting and you know, all of that kind of stuff, online, discounted prices, and it is quite addictive. Um, I have lists of things that I would like to add to the collection, and a lot of the reasons I don't unbox, like really unbox my stuff, I would prefer to have all my dollies and everything unboxed. But right now, I am in the process of looking for a new home. I have an opportunity to um, relocate to a new home. So I'm in the process of looking for a new home. So that's why I haven't taken everything out the box. So some videos you see me just taking it out the package and showing you. Um, but not I have not taken those items out of their box unless I'm using it for a project. Some items... Um, especially the ones from the thrift store, like the physical thrift store, they're in bags. So, of course, I open them up and um, I'm using those for projects and things that I'm doing and um, things like that. But if it's still in its kind of new packaging, then it probably didn't come out of the box yet. And then once I move and buy shelving unit and all of that I have a whole setup i have it all in my mind worked out how i want my dolly space to look so i don't know if i'm gonna have a whole dolly room or if i have a dolly basement or if i have a dolly area that shares space with a different area but i have it worked out where i want to keep them protected and covered for right now so some of them stay within their packaging and as soon as i relocate which should be sometime in this summer um then they'll be out and i'll do a whole video um about that and show you how i have it set up so now let's get to opening um the boxes i have an idea of what's in them I do actually have an idea because I got alerts but sometimes I get alerts and it don't be what it's supposed to be <laughs> like while I'm opening this up let me give you a little story I recently um, made a purchase and I was very excited about this purchase and then I ended up getting a message from the seller saying that they accidentally sent me the wrong item and sent my item to someone else. And I've never experienced that before. And, you know, everyone is human. Mistakes happen. So I didn't really. It was like a little inconvenience. But in the grand scheme of things, it's a dolly. So I'm not going to be, and all of that stuff. 
So it came to me, and of course it wasn't a dolly, it was something totally different. And I was like, okay. So we went through the process and I think, you know, went through the proper channels of how to send it back. And I sent it back. And the seller was like, okay, I'm going to repost it so that you can um, purchase it. I am so sorry. And, you know, they, it's, they sounded very sincere. I work. So when I got the message, it was a little later. And I went to purchase the item. And it sold. And I didn't know if she marked it as sold so that no one would get it and that I would get it. So I sent her a message and I was like, hey, I went to purchase my item and it's marked as sold. Um, do I need to do something? How do we do this so I can get my item? 24 hours went by. She sent me a message. I'm so sorry. I posted it and it immediately it sold and I thought it was you and I printed out the label and sent it out already. Yeah. Highly disappointed. I had a plan for that one that was a part of a project. I really did have a plan for that one. So yeah, I am highly disappointed. Um, she apologized, but I still couldn't understand how you not notice a different name and a different address. And it was for the exact same price. It's not like she sold it and got more money, but it was the same price that I was going to pay. And she just sold it to someone else. So, I, you know, I'm disappointed. And so now I got to go back on the hunt for that particular item because it was for a project and it's like okay yeah yeah so that was my disappointment for this week which is funny because it's my birthday week so i'm not about this disappointment on my birthday week my birthday is in three days my birthday is thursday i'm filming this on a Monday. You won't see it until after my birthday. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, so, so just to let you know that on March 25th, it was my birthday. So, I wasn't really here for the disappointments, but it's okay because I have this one. And, you know, I'm not going to dwell on the disappointments because we're all human. Things happen. And she genuinely could have just been like, oh, she grabbed it. Da -da -da -da. But I think... Like when you're printing a label, maybe you notice, but she didn't. This packaging is great. I am so happy that this seller protected this one because, oh boy, I was on the hunt for her and she is beautiful. Okay, I'm bringing in, I'm sorry about the lighting, it's really, I'm working with computers, so you're going to see the reflection, so that's why I'm going to hold her down like this. And I'll insert a picture. But man, she is beautiful. She is beautiful. She is the look, the Barbie look. Barbie collector black label. She is the curvy one. She they this was the only curvy one they made for the look. And she this dress is beautiful. This all of these accessories. She has a purse, a gold cell phone, <coughs> gold earrings, gold lipstick. A little gold makeup compact. Like, she is doing it. That gold, yes, she is beautiful. Man. So right now, of course, she's going to stay in the box, but she will not stay in the box. Um, she's beautiful. Just, she's a beautiful doll. I'm so happy I got her. 
Because she's a beautiful, beautiful. Yes, but she will not be staying in the box. Um, yeah, she's a part of my play line. Um, she's beautiful, but I'm not, uh, really, I'm not a box collector. Maybe one day I will be, but right now I'm not a box collector. I want to um, play with my dollies and dress them up and share their clothes and take pictures and do all that stuff. So she, she's beautiful. Yes, and her hair is so pretty. And she, oh, yeah. And I see, it's just lovely. Oh, and she has a stand. Good. Oh, gold shoes. Yes, they just did her up on the gold. And I love gold, so <laughs> as you can see, <laughs> I love gold. Okay, so this box, <laughs> it got a little beat up. <laughs> I'm not even sure what's in this box because the box says one thing, but I'm quite sure I didn't order it from eBay. <laughs> But, I mean, I feel like these sellers are, are on every site trying to sell their stuff and see if they can get the best um, bang for their money. I'm sure I said that wrong. <laughs> and so, they're probably trying to get top dollar, so they're all over. Uh, yeah, that, oh, oh. I didn't know it came in this big situation. All right, so I know this is old, and I got this for a really good price. It's the Creatable World. Look at that. And all these clothes. Okay, so I got this twofold. One is because I like the doll. Um, The doll as you can see, you can make the doll look however you want. The doll is basically unisex. So if you want the doll to be a boy or a girl, you choose. The clothes are really unisex clothes, boys or girls. Um, or you don't have to state anything. It's up to you. And what I didn't know about this when they came out, and I really thought this was cute, and I like the size of them, and they are um, not necessarily made to move, but they are articulated. So I was like, oh, I like that. Also, the clothes fit blight. <laughs> so they can share clothes and be a part of the same little dolly world. And I got... This one, so that was the deluxe. The big box says the deluxe character kit where you get a lot a wig and a whole lot of different clothes and two pairs of shoes. And it says you can create over a hundred looks with the doll. This doll skin tone is really pretty, it's nice and dark pretty. That is deep. That's like a dark chocolate skin tone. And I like that. So that's the deluxe one. So then I have this one. And this one just comes with the doll and a wig. And just what the doll has on. Right? Yeah. The doll and the wig. So she is he or she. And this one. Oh, with the curlier hair. Okay, so there is a difference. This one is lighter skin tone than this one. And I don't know if you could tell. This one is brown. I would just say brown. With um brown eyes. Yes, this one is brown with brown eyes. And this one is a lighter brown with a green eye and gold hair. A greenish eye and a golden hair. So both of them, all the girls, excuse me, all the ones I have came with, well no that's not true. The wigs are different. So this one with the golden hair, this wig is very similar to 
um, the one with the dark, dark brown hair. So these two, I don't, I don't need to hold them up. These two, their wigs are really similar, except for there's a difference in color as far as texture. Their texture for their two is very similar. And then this one, her her um wig texture is looser. It's it's curly, but it's a loose curl. Whereas their theirs is curly. This one is curly with a tighter curl. And then the darker skin one is curly with a really not really really tight curl. So it's just a slight difference. These two are more similar as far as the hair texture goes. This one. So except for on the doll. Like on the doll, the darker one's hair texture is a little tighter. Her curl is a little tighter. These two curls on the doll is looser. These two wigs for the darker one and this one are about the same. So that's interesting, uh, the difference in the wigs. And you can kind of tell at the bottom of the package how how that will be. Yep. So I'm, I'm excited about these. I'm excited to take pictures with these. Uh, um, yeah, I'm just excited. So, and see what little little Miss Blue says about them. And their clothes, I got them. Their clothes fit my new Blythe doll. I'm excited about that. I don't know if all the clothes fit the new Blythe doll, but they said um, clothes, well, someone said, another collector said the clothes fit the Blythe doll. So, all of them will be a part of the same little dollar universe. And um I got some more clothes coming for them because they do sell the clothes just in packs by themselves. It's harder to find like on Amazon and all of that because the dolls are old. And I don't think they even this line um I think they discontinued the line which is unfortunate. So but you can find clothes probably well you can definitely find it on Macari. Um maybe eBay. And possibly the thrift stores. Um, however, last time I went to the thrift store, I didn't find any. But that's just my thrift store. My thrift store is kind of because it's more city, I suppose, or because it's always busy. Maybe the stuff come in and it just goes fast before I get there. But, yes, that's what I have in my packages today. So, thank you for watching. If you made it through you might as well subscribe, so please like, share, and subscribe. And um, do you have any of these? And if you do, do you take pictures with them? How do you do? You collect these? Let's talk about it down in the um chat. <laughs> I always have an issue remembering the name of that space, but let's talk about it. Do you have? Either one, but do you have the creative world? Do you collect these? And if you do, do you take pictures and things like that? I would love to follow you on Instagram. Oh, and follow me on Instagram. That's where you'll see the pictures of everything that I use now. Like my dolls and all of that that I use now. That's not waiting for the move. Um, You'll see all those pictures on Instagram. So go ahead over to Instagram and follow, follow me. I'm at KC underscore dolls kc dolls and it'll be in the description box there'll be a link or a title in the description box all right thank you bye